In this video, I'm going to show you two ways how you can combine your Excel spreadsheets without any effort. The first method is Power Query and the second method is using macros or VBA. I've got timestamps down below so you can skip to your preferred method. Alright guys, remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button here down below and uh, let's get into this one. Alright guys, so let's start off with some basic data. So I'm going to start off, let's say we're selling uh, merchandise to companies. So I'm going to put in company here in A as a description and the amount here in B, that's just the sales amount. So let's say we're talking about company A and the amount was 100 and company B and the amount was 200. Alright, so that's basic data from highlight from A1 to B3. Here's control T and we're going to click OK. Make sure the tick box is here. We've got headers. So that's our first table. So we're working with tables here. So let's go with sheet 2. I'm just going to zoom in here as well. There we go. So let's go again with company here and amount. Okay, now we're working with company C. Amount is 300. Uh, sorry, company C and D and 400. All right, so this follows a sequence. So let's say we've got sales reports from different uh, people A, B, 100, 200, and company C, D, 300, and 400. All right, let's just make this a table as well. Highlight Control T and say yes. And just for design purposes, let's change this color as well. So this is the two tables we got from our two sales representatives. But we want to combine these into one master sheet. So you can have multiple sheets and this method is going to work for all those sheets. So we want to combine it without having the mundane copy and paste method. We want to uh, combine it via Power Queries. Okay, so let's do that. So we're going to hit data. So you've got Excel 2016. There's Power Queries built in. Data. We're going to say new query here in the uh, get and transform. We're going to click in sheet one, click on table one. So there's table one. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to data and click from table. So from table, this is where our data sits. If the data sits in any other Excel spreadsheet within the system, you would go to new query. And you would go to from file and then it will go from a workbook but this our data sits within the table and here you can see it loaded the table and we're going to say close and load all the formatting is perfect all right here we go so that's table one done and now we're going to go back to sheet two click on the sheet here and the same method we're going to go to data from table and we're going to make sure it loads table two there it goes, table 2, and we're going to say close and load. All right, almost done, guys. And then the very last step is we're going to go back to data, and now we're going to go to new query, and we're going to combine the queries, and we're going to append. So that's the second step there. So what we're going to do is it's going to ask for the table. So we only got two tables in our example, so table 1 and table 2. If you have a three or more tables, you will click this option and follow the prompts uh, accordingly. So table one, table two, and we're going to hit OK. It's going to show a little uh, query editor here, and this is exactly what we're looking for. So we can just load and save. And now there's a very last sheet created, and there's the uh, appended uh, table. Perfect. So it shows A, B, C, D, and that combines the two tables. So if you go back to sheet 2, and you put in now more data, so we're going to go E, that's company E, with the amount for 500. And you go back to sheet 5, and you want to refresh this new data. Just go to data, and to refresh all. You click refresh all, and you'll see it's loading you on the right hand side, and there we go. There the new data sits. So there's E and 500. So now it updates dynamically as the new data becomes available in your sheets. So that's the first method. And now we're going to go to the second method. All right, guys. So the first, second method is the macro or VBA. So if you don't have Power Query loaded, this is the perfect method for you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight all these sheets. I'm going to right click and I'm going to, I'm just going to highlight sheet three. 
let's go for sheet 5, sheet 4 and sheet 3 I'm going to delete for this purpose. So we want to combine these two. So what is very important is the headers should always be the same. So it's company amount and then dates are following. In company amount dates are following so that's perfect so what I would like you to do is in the descriptions below you're gonna go and grab cheat sheet number one so we're gonna put in some code so I'm just gonna minimize here I'm just gonna grab my cheat sheet so here's my cheat sheet that I've got just want to show you guys how it looks there it is so I'm just gonna click in the text file hit control a that selects everything control C to copy all right so I'm going to click out of this and go back to my spreadsheet here. There we go. All right. And now I would like you to go to the developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab, no worries. You go to file, options. You're going to go to customize ribbon. You're going to make sure this developer box is ticked and you're going to hit OK. And then you've got this developer tab. Now in the developer tab, I would like you to go to macros so there the second option macros and we're going to create a new macro so basically what we're going to do is we're going to say combine and we're going to create this macro create all right so i would like you to highlight everything here in this and we're going to hit Control v that will paste that uh, formula there and the code we're going to hit save Oh, and if you're going to save it, so if you're going to save it, we're going to save it as a macro enabled file. So file, save as, you're going to put it where you want it into your current folders. And if you're going to save, save it as a macro enabled workbook, not an ordinary Excel workbook. Macro enabled workbook and save. Perfect. All right. So now you're going to say, OK. So what is awesome about this is now you see you've got multiple sheets so this can up, go up to 100 uh, sheet tabs with the same data but what you're going to do is you're going to go to developer you're going to go to macros and you're going to click on combine and you're going to click on run so it's going to run the data and you will see it creates a tab named combined and it's going to combine all the data so now what's awesome is we can uh, highlight everything you can highlight everything and then you can say you're going to go to home you can apply a filter you're on the right hand side apply a filter and now you can still sort z to a a to z you can still work with the data and that's perfect so let's say there's new data we're not going to follow the power query step you need to delete the combined tab then there's new data so let's say here's f for 600 and now we want this to be added. Now you go back to developer. You're going to go to macros, combine and run. And then new combined sheet. There it is. New data to be handled there as well. All right, guys. I hope you like this video. Remember to hit that like button. To hit this little subscribe button down below. And I'll see you for our next episode. Cheers, guys.